Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria, and I am so grateful that you are going to be hanging out with me tonight or today as we talk about the new moon in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is so magical in the energy that it is that it brings. It connects us immediately to the energy of our intuition, our ability to manifest, our ability to connect deeper with the divine, to connect deeper levels of intimacy with others, and also to dive into the realms of the subconscious, our intuition, psychology, and even the things that secretly can hold us back. These are all the things that is that we're going to be talking about as we dive into what I can see for us for the new moon in the sign of Pisces, as well as how I would recommend that you work to manifest with these stunning astrological energies. Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of BahatiLife.com. Today, we are going to be talking about the new moon in the sign of Pisces, happening February 20th, 2022, at 2.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's dive in. So as I said before, Pisces delves in the realms of magic and manifestation. Technically, I believe that you can use any of the houses or any of the signs in order to manifest any single one of your desires that you have, whether it be physical or metaphorical or energetically, you can use any one of the astrological signs of the zodiac or of the houses in order to manifest. In the realms of Pisces, we are going to need to work more with our psychology, with more of our subconscious, with more of our intuition in order to work more in alignment with the Pisces new moon energy, which again is what we're talking about today. Pisces new moons or just new moons in general are really interesting mystical times where the door of opportunity and potential opens up there. It's like this void space. If you look into the sky, you'll see that there's this dark, empty space. You're not going to be able to see the, the moon. That doesn't mean that the moon isn't there. It just means that there's a shadow covering the moon so you can't see it, most of us can't, with our human eye. The same thing happens with the things that will ultimately manifest and reveal themselves to you in time. This is why it's so important, or you're encouraged at least, and of course, follow your own intuition, but this is why it's so important for you to connect with your own higher self, which this Pisces new moon will definitely help you to do, that you connect with your higher self in order for you to begin to visualize and see through your third eye and through your crown chakra, what is going to be unfolding in your life. The Pisces new moon, this new moon that's upcoming, is going to give you tremendous clarity in regards to what it is that you can expect to manifest and to then eventually reveal itself to you, how it's going to physically manifest in your life. Again, this is not something that you're gonna be able to initially see, but it's something that you can call into existence. That's how we use the new moon to manifest, to work our magic, to set intentions, to write petitions, etc., etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and look over to my left and look at exactly what it is that we see within this chart. I've already anointed my fixed candle that it is that I felt really called to work with. This is the Egyptian temple candle. I'm obsessed. You can find it in my apothecary store at bahadilife.com. And I'm working with my good luck intention oil. That was a special blend for me. So we've already got our magical energy here going, our good juju. I'm all about that. All right. Now looking at this, I see a tremendous energetic vibe that is connecting to truly grounding yourself which is going to sound so opposite but truly grounding yourself or centering yourself aligning yourself with your higher self this means that what you are going to be aligning with within your higher self is going to be a vision of what is to come that is being divinely inspired by your astrological chart divine timing and even the divine his or herself, whatever it is that you believe. When I'm looking at this within the chart, this new moon, I see this void, this potential, this door that's opening in the realms of Pisces. So this is going to help you to manifest 
healing within your psyche, healing within your subconscious, healing with your intuitive self. It's going to strengthen the intuitive self. It's going to strengthen your intuitive muscle. I'm also seeing deeper connection to twin flames, soulmates, and a more ethereal, higher vibrational level of intimacy that can be really difficult to find here on earth. But again, the new moon creates the potential, that seed for you to plant it if it's something that it is that you want and feel that you're ready for. This is an amazing time for those of you guys that are really wanting, craving, and ready for deeper levels of intimacy in all of your relationships, but definitely your romantic relationships. Also, some of you guys may have within you stored fears. There's this overarching theme that keeps showing up as I'm shuffling cards for the collective, as I'm shuffling cards for my um, Bahati Love Note group, which is a private group that I shuffle cards for and I shuffle and share those messages with them every day. There's this overarching message lately about this fear of failure. And for that reason, sometimes we can find ourselves procrastinating. With the new moon in Pisces, it's time for you to sidestep away from procrastination and start to surround yourself with visual stimulation that reminds you of where it is that you ultimately are being guided and led to go. Ultimately, it's going to be you who has to take those steps towards this ultimate vision that is that you see for yourself, but at least having the vision and keeping your focus on that is going to help you get to that goal. It's not a dream, it's ultimately like a plan. It's the, it's the plan of what's going to happen and how things are going to you know show up for you. At the same time, there does have to be a lot of ebbs and flow, like the space for flexibility and for things to flow as they will. Pisces is one of those signs that you really can't control it. You have to flow with it. And this is where our intuition is so important because we will not be able to reason or logically understand how we're being led to this vision that is that we see for your, ourselves. But just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that it doesn't make sense to the divine and the greater plan. I have seen, excuse me, in my own studies that for those people who are working with Pisces energy, how the path unfolds is not something that makes sense initially right away, but it is something that when you look back in hindsight, you're like, oh wow, that is so synchronistic. I was clearly moving in alignment. There was miracles and miraculous energy all around me. I don't know how we got here. I don't know how this happened, but this is my reality. I made it happen. At first I saw it, then I spoke about it, then I wrote it, and then it showed up. That's the energy of the Pisces new moon. And I really want you guys to step further into this. I do get a strong sense as I'm looking at the astrological charts, but also intuitively as I'm connecting with you guys now, that there is a feeling of doubt and almost hesitancy with breathing into a new venture or into a new life or into a new project or having hope and faith once again. Saturn is here directly aspecting this new moon. Saturn is one of the planets that can be a little heavy and hard to hold because it the weight of it and the responsibility and the commitment is something that we can shy away from. How I want you to work with this energy, because I truly believe that if you know how to work with these planets, you can make them work for you and not against you. How you work with this energy is to know that what it is that you're manifesting is something that you actually are mature and ready and capable of handling. But also, if you start to initiate this process, it's not something that's gonna be taken away from you later. However, later on down the line, 15, 10 years after you've manifested this very thing that, that you're gonna be working on materializing, you're gonna be planting the seeds of for the Pisces new moon, I promise you, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna have a conversation, and I'm gonna tell you, listen, remember February 20th when you planted the seeds for this exact thing and you didn't know how it was gonna happen, but somehow it materialized and now look what, where you are? Now, we're gonna have to take some steps back. We're gonna need to revamp. You don't need to throw it all away. It's actually gonna be amazing, but we are gonna tweak it. I'm telling you this now because as a Virgo, triple Virgo over here, right? As a Virgo, I like you to be pre prepared and to plan for the future and to know what it is that you can expect. This is going to help you not have any fear 
as far as what is going to materialize and how things are going to materialize because you'll know what to expect you don't need to be afraid of something that is show up because you know what you know what you're dealing with you know what you're working with go ahead and plan for whatever seed it is that you're planting for the Pisces new moon, that this isn't going anywhere. It's going to stick with you for the long haul. And that's going to feel like a blessing. It's going to feel magical. It's going to feel ethereal. For example, if some of you guys are going to be using this new moon to bring in new spiritual practices and maybe going to your altar space or going for walks in nature because that's how you feel most connected to the divine or to God or to your ancestors, then this intention that is that you're setting for yourself is nine times out of 10 going to be something that you will be able to actually stick with. You can't hear it, but my candle is crackling just tiny little bit. So this is Spirit's way of saying, yes, we congratulate you. We support you. We can get behind this. We're talking about it too. The more that you talk about it, the more that you connect with it, the more that it, it's you're increasing its chances of actual manifestation. So it goes from a thought into an actual thing, okay? Also, I am looking at this candle and I get a strong sense of the color lavender for some of, for some of you guys. Lavender is gonna be your power color for this new moon. Also, I believe that your faith is going to build in time. So if there's any additional help that you need to continue to build and secure your faith and to keep you optimistic and to strengthen your, strengthen your own intuition, I would also double that with the intentions that it is that I would be working on manifesting, okay? So include that into your petition and into your manifestation work. Also, I strongly feel that for many of you, you're going to want to manifest on hearing the voice of God or hearing the voice of the divine, your ancestors, your guides, and also ask them how you can better honor them through your practice, whether that be what you leave for them as far as offerings, but also what they would like to see from you. So sometimes they like when you journal, sometimes they like when you go for that walk, sometimes they like when you dip yourself in, the, in a bath or a body of ocean. For everyone, it's gonna be different. Different. but I really want to encourage you to fold that into the rest of your petition and into the rest of your magical work at and for the Pisces new moon okay so I know that for a lot of you guys just to answer some questions some of you guys will say well Jess how is this going to manifest in my life everyone's gonna be so different I promise you everyone's gonna be so different even though there's 12 zodiac signs the truth is that every single one of you guys are completely unique and how this uh, will personally impact you is going to be different depending on what your natal chart looks like, not just your sun, moon, and rising. However, having said that, if you have any specific questions as far as generally what is it you can expect, please let me know down in the comments. You can say, Jess, this is my sun sign is fill in the blank or my rising sign is fill in the blank. Not only do I like to open myself or open the forum for conversation, it also is great for me to continue to do my research as an astrologer here because oh my god astrology is one of the things that i've been studying almost all of my life and i continue to learn something new every single time and i know that till the day i die i'm gonna learn something new not only about the transits but about the planets about energies about alchemy about manifestation it's just ongoing and that's why i'm here okay also to be honest with you i have a Pisces Midhaven, so that also rules my career. So you guys will be seeing me for a long time. All right, well, thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I'm going to mosey on back to the apothecary to continue working my magic over the candles. If you need me, you can find me at bahadilife.com or you can send me an, in, an email at info at bahadilife. Well, we are, I will be more than happy to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, whether it be a reading or a candle or definitely an oil. And for those of you guys that are asking, will I be doing a, a new moon in Pisces oil for this new moon? I will. I'll link it down below. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential.
Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at Bahati Life, where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.